I'm going to teach you how I would memorize the alphabet. I know you probably know the alphabet already, or at least I hope so. But even till this day, if you tell me like what's after L or like what's after T or before T, I wouldn't know. I'd be like, oh great, I have to say the whole alphabet just to go to that point, right? And so it's embarrassing, even though been in life for 25 years, I guess I probably learned the alphabet, I don't know, three, four. And so, uh, yeah, in all that time, I still don't know the alphabet backwards. I can't say it. I can't just go to any random letter and tell you what's before and after, besides the obvious ones. So this is how I would memorize the alphabet. Now, first thing is, I would probably have some sort of alphabet system. Now, an alphabet system, uh, the easiest would probably be an alphabet rhyme system or alphabet letter system. So A, ape. But if you click this, uh, boom, astronaut. And so um, it's kind of up to you on what alphabet system you would want to use. And then the next step would be to have a memory palace with 26 locations because there are 26 letters. And then after you have those two, you're actually ready to memorize. It's pretty simple. And so each letter is going to be in the respective um, location in the memory palace. So A is the first letter, right? It goes into the first location. A might be ape. First location might be bathtub. <laughs> ape taking a bath, right? B, second letter. B uh, would go into the second location, which might be the toilet. Maybe B's were coming out of the toilet. And so you just continue to go do that. Now, what's really cool about memorizing the alphabet that way is that you're able just to jump around. So if someone says Al, Al is going to trigger your image, and then you're going to jump to that specific location and know whatever uh, number it is, and then you're able to go forwards or backwards from that. I've always wanted to be able to say the alphabet backwards, and so this would be an easy way to do that because all you have to do is start at the end of your memory palace and then work your ways back up to the first location, right? And so I think kids should probably memorize the alphabet this way. Go with the alphabet rhyme system, A, Ape, B, B, C, Seesaw, and so on, because they already know how the letter, uh, you know, are, they're saying the letter, so coming up with an image that sounds similar is going to be very simple. But I still have it, but one day I will memorize the alphabet, re-memorize, I guess relearn the alphabet, so I'm able to jump around in any order and be able to say the alphabet backwards, which is which I think is pretty cool. And if I ever get pulled over for some nonsense, I'll be able to say the alphabet backwards and be on my way, ticket free. And so uh, there you go. That's how I would memorize the alphabet, uh, plus all this additional weird stuff I'm talking about the alphabet. Don't mind that. So hopefully you enjoy this video and I'll see you next time.